so Taurus, you know, this person feels like they need to battle whoever, or they're going to battle whoever they need to battle in order for them to get this bad, or for them to come after you. So let's start your reading. Let me explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking. And just feeling regarding the situation um, that they're in with yourself. And of course, oops, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Guys, it is time stamped. Should be in the description bar below. This section is really for those that just really kind of, you know, prefer to see me shuffle on on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And uh, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes. You know, just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. So Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up is this being your side the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most all right so just 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 touching on the past um this could be the recent past this could be six months ago this could be a year ago so this is just kind of representing the past for you it seems like there was something that had come crashing down in a big way represented by the tower so i'm not sure um whether Yes, they, I feel like there was a breakup here, but a huge breakup in the sense of it had it had an impact on just other areas of your life. It could be work, could be the fact that you maybe built a family with this person, a home, that type of thing. But things came crashing down for you. With that, it kind of gave you the want to focus on just kind of being in a good place mentally within yourself. You know, eating right, exercising, just kind of getting your thoughts in alignment with I'm okay, I'm going to be okay, everything happens for a reason, that type of thing. Where this person, you know, they were just trapped, trapped in their head mentally, you know, thinking. And this is their own, you know, this is them being trapped mentally is 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 due to their own way of thinking. So this is them just kind of really being up in their head, stuck in their head unable to stop thinking, unable to escape their thoughts, just trapped, just trapped. And at the same time, them feeling like they need to defend themselves as well. I feel like this is outsiders, maybe people that you both know, mutual friends, uh, maybe just kind of commenting, criticizing, judging this person. I feel like it's more about them not agreeing with this person's actions in some way, shape or form. So there's judgment there. There's criticism and them maybe uh, making their thoughts known to this person and then feeling like they need to protect themselves or even defend themselves give reasons as to why they just kind of behave the way they did just where it is currently both both just in a in a place where you're both trapped thinking about this constant thoughts thinking thinking it's fresh. I feel like it's a fresh situation. So this space is natural, especially if it's a, a new type of space that you're both in. You're going to be thinking about it. It's going to consume your thoughts. But it's, you know, it's it's like I'm unable to escape these thoughts. And with that, you're kind of going through it. You're going through the, the loss of not just this person, but what you had built together, what you had together. Yeah, going through the loss, you're hurt by this situation. That's that's 
that's obvious. You're kind of hurt by what had gone on here. However, and I say however simply because of what's in your challenge. We've got the Page of Swords and we've got the Ace of Wands. And this rep represents an epiphany, like a wake-up call, a realization. And this represents, you know, more about, this speaks to more about, you know, the opportunity to create something, to uh, paint something new. That being, these two being in your challenge position, that kind of says that this, these feelings, this space that you're currently in is more so due to, and I'm talking about the length of time that you're there, the, uh, the intensity of the emotions and thoughts that you're feeling while being there is largely, let's say that largely due to the fact that you don't see the blessing or you don't have the realization around what that this is meant or what this means to you. It's like, for instance, you don't see that this is an opportunity for you to now actually go for what it is that you want, for you to now have something bigger and better come into your life, um, to have a better impact on your life, something that fits you, that's that 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 something that's more equally yoked to you. This isn't your challenge. You're unable to see that just yet. I say just yet. Yeah. I say just yeah. So with with that inability, yeah, do you see that? The change. With that inability to not see that, it kind of lets you sit in these emotions a lot longer than you need to. It kind of lets these thoughts and feelings that are coming up for you be more intensified simply because you don't have the idea or the vision of something new, something better to come along. Yeah. Yeah, do you see that? Challenge around leaving, you know, emotions, stuff behind and moving towards that knife cut, which usually represents uh, emotional happiness, emotional happiness. So that's your challenge. That should ease that a little bit. That should ease that a little bit because when one door closes, what happens? Another one opens. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. It's, it's are you ready for that door to be opened? It's, uh, can I see or have some form of idea, even if it's just the hope of an idea of something better on the opposite side or the other side of that door? Yeah. The old person is kind of holding back on what's really going on for them. So I feel like on the surface, what you're seeing is not really what's going on behind closed doors. It's like they hold things close to their chest. This person is really going through it with others, outsiders, their judgment, their criticism. Like I said, we're going back to the seven here. So lots of challenges. Maybe this person is this person is arguing with others, bickering, you know, this frustration there. They're not able to get people to see, you know, their point of view about what happened, what went down why they chose to do certain things. Yeah, this person is being held accountable, it seems, by others outside of, um, yeah. They're just not able to, it's like they're not getting away with it. They're not getting away with it. The people are not, whoever these people are, they're not, they're not, they're not buying it. They're just not buying it. So it seems like you have some form of support even if it's in the sense of them holding this person accountable for their action. Yeah. And they're not, I don't get this sense that, I don't know, pull on this, but I just don't get this sense that this person is taking the time to digest or even listen to what these people are saying. You know, taking on board. And this could be people that are close to them as well. Yeah, it's keeping them stuck. Well, they've got judgment. Keeping them stuck. There's judgment there. <laughs> you know? Which brings us to what they're wanting, which is to get whatever it is that they had back. Coupled with the three there. You know, for them, there was they, they had a good thing going, the King of Pentacles. They want it back. Their focus is very much on getting that back. 
They want to come back together with you again. Very different from how what you're wanting. You're wanting to, to lay a stronger foundation. You know, move towards an emotionally happier space within yourself, within your life. Yeah, and I would say stick to that. Stand on that. Especially if you've given this person opportunity after opportunity to get it right. Especially if these other people are holding this person accountable and they're just not listening. It's like they, 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 it's like, no, even if I feel like maybe for some of them as well, they're kind of trying to sway this person away from trying to get this back. It's like you, you didn't treat it well when you had it. Why are you wanting to get it back? Like, let this person be, let Taurus be. But no, they're not listening. They're not listening at all. But like, and usually at this point, we kind of move into part two, get a full picture of the read end. So um, as to see where it goes to next, but I will be implementing that next week, guys. But as it stands, it's like, because your focus is on this foundation and this emotional happiness, I don't feel like this person has an opportunity or will have an opportunity. Who knows? I don't know. Because their energy feels very much strong. Especially if they can battle these other outsiders. And I say battle in the sense of just verbally. You know. And have the confidence. Or the to feel they can actually get this back. Who knows what this person's capable of doing. In terms of their actions. To attempt that. Okay. So look out for that. You might have to pull on that strength. Um, yeah. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.